Learning how to operate a sailboat is no small task, but one program in Boston is making sure no one is left out of the sport. So we went out on the Charles River to get a closer look at how the Sail Blind program is building confidence both on and off the water. On most Saturdays from the spring through the fall, you can find Timothy Vernon on the Charles River. Feeling the wind against my face and feeling the boat as it glides through the water certainly provides the chance to feel that sense of freedom and the opportunity to be able to feel independent. Feeling the wind, the sun, or even the rain is a big part of the sailing experience for Timothy, who was born blind. But he's not just along for the ride. I'm in charge now. <laughs> for the last six years, he's been learning hands-on how to operate a sailboat. Okay, Tim, push towards the sail just a little bit. Thanks to the Sail Blind program. Each week, I come with an open mind, with a desire to learn something new and build on the skills from prior weeks weeks and prior summers. Like all challenges, Timothy is tackling sailing with determination and a sense of humor. You picked the landmark because you were testing my vision to see if I was really blind. <laughs> we visited the community boathouse on the Esplanade, which hosts the program. Oh boy! <laughs> How do we get on? We hopped on board Sonar One with Timothy, his dad, and instructor Peter Fay, who volunteers his time each Saturday morning to teach those who are visually impaired how to sail. The main benefit is that, um, you know, recreation and being outdoors is really important for everybody, and not just necessarily taking a walk, you know, and people like to have a sport that they can be involved in. It's fun. And as Tim mentioned earlier, it requires teamwork. The teamwork it takes to maneuver a sailboat smoothly creates a bond between the whole crew. There has been a greater amount of isolation amongst people who are visually impaired, particularly since the pandemic. So having the opportunity to be out with friends and participate in an activity that everyone enjoys is crucial. I think the friendships have been really uh, important for me. Um, we really are a friend group now. The program, which is mostly supported by the Carroll Center for the Blind, runs from May through the end of October. It's free and it's flexible. Whether it's they just want to be comfortable on the water or they really want to enhance their skills, we'll kind of work with each sailor um, as they spend time in our program. Sailing definitely brings about like so much happiness for our sailors um, and uh, joy being out on the water. Um, it's just, you can see the smiles on their faces. The independence and the confidence that comes from learning how to sail. Okay, let's have a little fun now. Translates to all other parts of life, on and off the water. From that independence, uh, the ability to tackle challenges and overcome any challenges which we're faced with. That was such a fun day, getting out on the water with them. It was, it's so great that they have this program. And I know that Timothy and the other sailors, they're so grateful to Peter and the volunteers who spend every Saturday for six months showing them how to sail. And what I love is um, Tim was saying the isolation that comes with being visually impaired, especially during the pandemic. And this was a great way to be outside, have fun. Make friends. Exactly. That was a fun day. It was great. We'll be